We're an NGO, an organisation that uh, works to reintegrate marginalised children, um, young people, back into society and to work with them and their families uh, to build their capacity to be productive members of society. Friends is a bit different, it's not your normal NGO. Uh, we incorporate uh, business, social enterprise into what we do in order to not just build the capacity of the young people we're working with, uh, many of them are trained in an actual business environment, uh, but also to ensure our sustainability and to reduce our dependence on donors. I mean, it's kind of endemic throughout the NGO world that the way, the way that um, the NGO world presents the, the people it's, it's working with, the people it's supporting, it's often very negative stereotypes uh, that they use. You know, we're, with friends, we're trying to break that mould. We, we try and show the, the really positive aspects of our work, um, the growth of the children and young people we work with. We don't dwell on where they came from, how miserable their lives were before. You won't see any pictures of big-eyed kids with flies all over them on friends' um, materials on our websites and our social media. Um, but the world has got used to seeing that. And also the developed world has, has got a bit of a saviour complex. Um, and, you know, this, this happens a lot. People come along and think, oh, I know what these kids need. I'll set up a, an orphanage or I'll look after them and I'll share it on Facebook and all my friends can donate, you know. But actually what you're doing is you're, you're breaking the fabric of Cambodian society. You're tearing families apart uh, because orphanages need, need a product to sell, to get donations. That product is children. Our, our founders from a business background. So he approached things a bit differently from the beginning. He realized how important it was, listen to what the young people want. And they said, um, you know, the younger ones said, we want to go to school. The older ones said, we want jobs. So vocational training uh, became a crucial part of what we do from the very beginning. Um, we then realized, yes, we can, we can link this vocational training with, with actually generating income. Um, generating income that will benefit the young people and the families we work with, but will also help us to be less donor dependent. And people often say to us when they visit friends, they say, well, you know, I, I felt I could, I could help the country by volunteering. You know, I could, I could go and volunteer in an orphanage or whatever. But when you talk to us about the negative impact that has, then I understand it's not good. But what else can I do? And they say, you can enjoy yourself. Go and eat in a training restaurant. Buy some nice souvenirs to take home. And that's having a really positive impact. You know, you're supporting socioeconomic growth within communities. Um, it doesn't maybe look as good on Facebook to you, you know, having your picture taken with three or four smiling kids. But the impact is huge, it's much, much more. It's a real long-term impact you're having by doing that.